Poyo Pop's a thing. Or was that like a... Poyo Poyo, I'm not sure. Poyo Pop might be a spin-off or something. Yeah, like, it's, like, it's a, a like a puzzle bubble type of deal. I don't know. Like, it's not quite the same, but it's the same. Play like some kind of puzzle league or something, I don't know. Point is, every so often you have to do... That's the game. Every so often you have to do a puzzle. Get, press, get Professor Layton on this, he'll do it. <laughs> Luke, here's my answer. That's my Professor Layton. <laughs> That's good, I guess. I don't know. I have no idea what he sounds like. Sounds like that? Exactly. Oh, okay. I'll take your word on that. Gosh, Professor! That... Oh, no, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Professor! I made a pun for a robot bird! <laughs> Very good. Luke. Cup of tea. <laughs> a true gentleman. Uh, I can't be asked. Keeps, always keeps a cup of tea under his hat. <laughs> <can't they? laughs> yes, that's what a true gentleman does. Um, a true gentleman stops his cat going ape shit with a machine gun. <laughs> oh, the back again. Oh. You have to get behind him. Can you get behind him? Must be get behind them with a uh, secret one. Because there's, there's holes in the walls. Whoa! They have, they have vents for their arse, I guess. Right. That's handy. Oh, it might be if they... Obvious joke. <laughs> Incoming. Three. <laughs> two. I'm not liking it. Poop! <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> now you're a true gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I don't think I want to be a true gentleman anymore. I can't get the bolts in it now! Ah, uh, got it. Ah. Ah. Go, bitch. Ah. There's like six bolts in there. You got level you spend them. Treat, son. <laughs> what you gonna do? Whoa! This is impractical and impossible. How annoying would that lift B for a normal person that doesn't have magnet boots. How nauseating. Just again in the lift and oh I'm upside down and on my head. Oh I pooped all over my own face. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the worst part ever. <laughs> Why did I build this lift? <sighs> Why does this room have to be upside down? It's not anymore. You just upside down B on the ceiling. Now I'm on the floor. Oh well then it makes even less sense. Yeah. <laughs> the lift puts you upside down and then you come in the room normal ways anyway. So you just fall off the ceiling. Right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why they, they did that. <laughs> it's we it's, make, it's we neat. We make this one lift more exciting. It's neat because once you walk off the magnet bit, successful. you can keep walking on the ceiling, but the moment you stop, you fall off. So you, you can actually... I could walk to the other end of the other end of the room, and as long as I stop walking there, I fall off. So you can pick where you want to land in the room. Why, why does stopping walking make you... Because that... The rest of that ceiling isn't magnetic or something, I don't know. So then how do you walk on it? Uh, static. It builds up a lot of static. He's a cat, he's covered in fur. Sta static he got, magnetism. Yeah, he got a balloon and he rubbed it all over himself in the lift. He didn't see. It's when he turned upside down. Oh. And he, maybe when it turns upside it. down, it just... What an awful thing to happen. Yeah, that'll be great. This nice. lift goes normal. What the hell, man? What's the deal with lifts? How does Clank not get super bored? He can't even see what's happening. He gets to see what's happened. Oh, big missile thing. Hello, Captain Ratchet. <laughs> Come and get me, hero! Perhaps we could obtain the ship in there. Great idea! Let's go! So is, is that how it works? You annoy a superhero and then you become the captain? Uh, yeah, that's how I became the captain. Here's a little something from me to you. I don't want it. Take it back. Turn the sender, please. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't know how Quark breathes space in that brief cutscene. He's a superhero. Some of his superpowers? He, gets, he doesn't need lungs. He gets to be really big and really buff and also can breathe space. Yeah. Well, he's pretty he's pretty buff, so he might just have huge lungs in there. He might not have any muscle. Might Maybe his lungs are made of muscle. So he just held his breath. 
before he stepped outside. And then he spoke to you in the back human space as well. Oh, right, yeah. That doesn't, that doesn't work. That's how sound works. It'll be cool. What? That's cool. You just paint it away with magic. Or nano machines to say, I don't know. Right. Anyway, yeah, it's a boss. Every time you remove a segment of health, he loses a segment of his ship. That's convenient. And this is actually the easiest way to hurt him, because you're constantly damaging him. And as long as you destroy the missiles by just going left and right, it's like he doesn't do any damage. Right. Take away half his health, and little spaceship buddies appear. And they drop little health boxes, and occasionally the extra missiles. Blow up the level. Can't blow up the level. It's rude. Blow up. The level. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know where I was going with that. One of those planets. Well, I'm here, I need to stop Quark. Go to that sun. The only reason I'm here is to stop Quark. Oh, okay. Quark then. <laughs> Alright, I will. Kill him dead. I hate that guy. I'll do that. He's got a force field, I have to kill the little ships and they keep getting lost. Why do the little ships control the force field? That's just stupid. That's, uh, that isn't at all realistic. Well, if Quark could do this the entire time, I don't know why he just always sends out little ships and keeps himself all protected. Uh, oh, you can't hurt me. Oh, you destroyed all my buddies. Okay, I'll let you hurt me now. He's got to ration them. Like His buddies or the shield? Yes. He seems more like a jerk yes. to me. I don't think he cares about One his buddies. all of those things. Yeah, but the rocket explodes. Yeah. It's above the rocket. The whole point of a rocket is to come towards you and then explode and then you Yeah, get but hurt. I explode it safely with, with my bullets. But how? It's like I'm a foot away from your base. Yeah, but we're in space. No one can hear you explode. <laughs> the ratchet explodes in space yeah, I think and I'm no one's around. Now. <laughs> missiles for all! Wow. I forgot you have missiles. Yeah, you want to save me. Uh, mayday! Mayday! Well, Ratchet, I'd say you'll pass the test! <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> yes! Quark is history! Despite my earlier criticism, I must admit, your piloting skills are improving. I knew you'd come around. But that has not helped us locate Drek. Come on, Clank, can't you just once relax and enjoy a little success? Hey, you want to catch Drek? Betcha this baby can do it. This is Darla Gratch reporting live from Gorda City. This once peaceful planet is being torn apart today in an unprovoked attack. It now seems certain that Supreme Executive Chairman Drek will not be dissuaded in his efforts to destroy the galaxy for his own selfish oh, needs. Oh, oh, All hope oh, certainly oh, seems lost. Darla Gratch, Channel 2 News. Um, yes, I know. It is worse than I expected, too. Look, maybe you were right. This is a lot bigger than you or me. I was really selfish focusing on Quark. It is not too late to stop Drek. Hey, yeah! We've got this new ship! Let's go get him! Now you are talking. Space Cat feels sad. <laughs> Time for Space Cat Redemption. Well, at least he's got a free ship. Which he's just gonna just take. Yeah, look at that ship. That'd be... That's a pretty damn sweet ship. It looks so flimsy. Yeah, but it's fast. Yeah, but it looks. It looks yeah, rubbish. but it's got speed it's got speed lines on it. It makes it go faster. There are crates over there. Yeah, but the bridge is out. You have to I leave the him. level and then come back, and then I the bridge is back. I want him. Should we go in this giant missile? Uh, yes. Should we go in this giant missile? Yes, I do. So badly. It's pretty big. Oh my goodness. Wow. Big rocket. That's huge. Someone is overcompensating. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. It's a trick rocket. Oh, I've been duped. When will duped I again! Go? Oh! <laughs> Son of a bitch. You ready for an ultra super secret? Yes, even though I knew it was coming because we've done this video before. Shh. <laughs> it's new. It's new to you. It's new. I'm excited. I don't know what's going to be up here. Remember this? No, you don't. No, I have no idea what this is. <clears throat> it's 
a gold weapon store. Wow, you should buy them all. Oh, uh, uh, that's, that's quite a lot for one thing, and oh, that's even more for another thing. Uh, maybe all, this one. Uh, well, still, they all take normal bolts and four gold bolts. Yeah, that's quite a gold suck cannon. I'm not buying any of them because I don't. Wee! Cats always land on there. He did. Why did you hesitate? I don't know. <laughs> they always land on his. <laughs> Oh no, he does have feet. Yeah, okay. I, I have no idea. I don't know why I do things. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, we might as well go save the Gold City Ruins, even though it's already destroyed. The sunken city of Old Tantis. Atlanta Old Tennis. <laughs> Calling Otlo Tantinus. <laughs> Patantis. <laughs> <laughs>